afternoon and welcome to the HSF Education Summit President's Luncheon. At Wells Fargo, we work to identify key national partners that are known for what they are able to accomplish. When HSF succeeds, we all succeed, and it's more vital than ever in our challenging economy. At Target, we believe that every child deserves a quality education, and our focus could not come at a more critical time because K-12 through education in America is in crisis. If America is going to remain globally competitive and create the workforce and leaders of the future, we need to leverage that American spirit of innovation, collaboration, and ingenuity and apply it in education. President Obama made it clear that the most important contest that this country faces today is not between Democrats or Republicans. The competition is against the world. The president believes that we must out-innovate, out-educate, and I'll build the world. So I'm honored to be congratulating HSF uh, for your dedication and to the students uh, for continuing their education, to fulfilling a promise that they made to their families and making the United States even greater. We are proud of the fact that over these 36 years, over two thirds of all of our recipients are first in their family to go to college. See, most of our parents have come from countries where education is provided by the state. And advocacy for that is not something that they're accustomed to. But in this country, if you don't advocate, you don't go. 14 million Hispanic households with school-aged children. 5 million Hispanics with at least a two-year degree. By the year 2025, that 14 million grows to 19 million. So we've got the need to rally ourselves around a common goal, and that's what we're asking all of you to support. This summit is designed to spark a national discussion. It's a conversation that we want you to have about college accessibility and completion. As the fourth largest financial institution in this country, one of the things we've come to learn oh so well is that we actually have a very big responsibility. We have to work hand in hand with our communities to help them rebuild and revitalize themselves. And I think this afternoon will be a really important time for all of us to come together and think about the future of education for all students. What we're here about is making America stronger. America needs a talented workforce to be able to continue to be successful. This is a movement that is not just a movement of priority for the Hispanic community. This is an American priority. Where we're honoring 12 college students who will receive the President Obama Scholarship Award funded by President Obama's Nobel Peace Prize. He donated proceeds from his prize amount to a number of nonprofit organizations, including HSF. And in keeping with the President's call for more diversity in the teaching ranks of high school science, technology, engineering, and math, HSF has decided to invest that money in scholarships for college students studying the STEM fields, college students just like you. Congratulations, Obama scholars. I'm really proud to be here with you today. Well, we have a great program ahead of us today, and we'll hear from three exemplary speakers in the fields of demographics, marketing, and advertising. Our first speaker for this afternoon, um, Guy Garcia, is the president and CEO of Menta Metrics. He's going to talk to us today about the demographics that lie ahead and the marketing trends that we all need to pay attention to in this diverse global society. 2010 census revealed that the number of native-born Hispanics has now become the leading force. So this is a huge shift that changes the way you think about who Hispanics are. It's certainly changing the way they think about themselves. Another factor in this that's accelerating the change and reinforcing and amplifying the change is technology. You have a whole generation of people who are used to mixing and merging identity in the games they play. They merge and mash their music their video. This is a reflection of how they see themselves. This is a reflection of identity, and it's actually a prism, a window, into what's happening to all Americans right now. Mark Hugo Lopez will share his insights from the recent census about the challenges and opportunities facing our Hispanic students today. College enrollments of young Latinos, ages 18 to 24, were up 24 percent 
in the last year. A lot of the growth that we see in, and trends in among the Latino population are driven primarily by population growth, but also a growing number of young Latinos who are just eligible to go to college. A lot of that is being driven by the economic downturn. And that's also part of the story here, not only for young Latinos, but for all young people overall. I'm Monica Hill, and I'm with Nielsen, and some of you probably, most of you know us as the TV ratings company, but we also measure what you watch on TV, what you purchase, what music you're downloading, what you're doing on the internet. And one of the things that we did is we realized we had a lot of data that we compile. So we partnered with Univision, Associated Press, Stanford and the Gates Foundation to take a look at uh, the state of Hispanic American in the United States, which will be presented to you by my colleague, Doug Darfield. For the most part, those people who've been here less than 20 years, if you came here as a Spanish speaker, in your home, you're still going to be a Spanish speaker, while those who speak English mostly in their home are getting their information mostly from television and English. What that means in terms of a media reach or how do you communicate information to a large segment of the marketplace, there's a large information deficit about education amongst those households where the adults are speaking only or mostly Spanish. The idea of language being an impediment or something that holds you back is gonna to continue to diminish. You won't have to press two for Spanish, it'll just automatically translate to Bangladeshi because chances are the call center is somewhere in Asia anyway. The number of those who, who took our survey in English, only 10% understood no Spanish, but more than double that number said that they couldn't read in Spanish. So the question of literary language is a fascinating one that people in the internet space are grappling with in a big way today. How young Latinos, what type of education they get, what, they, what type of adults they become, what type of workers they become, how they enter the labor market, all of those things are going to be extremely important for the success not only of the Latino community, but of the United States as a whole. It's been 18 months since we launched our Ad Council campaign, Your Words Today, Tus Palabras de Hoy. And in those 18 months, we've had over 45 million impressions. The number one question is, how am I going to be able to pay for school? So with that, we thank all of you for your support, because your support makes it possible for us to be able to give scholarships and make that college dream possible for so many Latino students. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias.